Uh, good morning, my name is Chuck Wise. I'm the battalion chief with Boulder Creek Fire District. Uh, we're located in the mountains between Santa Cruz and San Jose in California. Uh, today I want to show you our new enforcer pumper. Uh, because of where we are in the mountains, we needed to get a short wheelbase uh, rig, and uh, with this rig we were able to accomplish it. Uh, it's a 162 and a half inch uh, wheelbase. Uh, and we also have, a, because of the mountains, we have uh, worry about approach and departure angles, so we uh, got the shortened bumper and uh, we got the three inch raised uh, rear. Uh, as we move around, we also have height issues because we have an old fire station. Uh, so the overall height of the uh, rig was uh, very important. So one of the things that we did on the other side is uh, we got the recessed ladder rack so we, uh, it's recessed into the body so it doesn't stick up very high. So we have a overall height of this vehicle of nine foot seven inches. Uh, some of the other things that we've done with this is uh, we're going with a clean cab concept, so there's no, all the storage for the SCBAs and turnouts are outside. Uh, so we, behind the cab, we put EMS cabinets uh, for turnout storage and for SCBA storage. And we also put uh, SCBA storage in the wheel wells. Uh, so as we come around here, you'll notice that it's very clean in here. There's no uh, SCBA storage in the uh, seats and they have good view out of the front of the cab. Uh, another big thing for us was low cross lays. Uh, we didn't want to have our members uh, have to climb up high to pull hose, uh, so we kept the cross lays very low as with uh, the hose bed in the back. Uh, as we move around the department or around the rig, uh, we've also tried to maximize our storage, so we brought out uh, the uh, upper to the edge of the rig, and we have uh, coffin compartments up there so that we're able to store more stuff. Again, trying to keep everything out of the cab, going with a clean cab concept. Uh, we uh, have a foam system that we've put in here. We use a Husky foam system. Uh, we found with the foam, it reduces uh, the amount of time that we have to spend on scene. Uh, we're, that enables us to get our volunteers back into their regular life. Uh, as you can see, we come back here, we have the stepped up rear end so that, uh, again, for the angle of departure, as we have so, a lot of tight driveways that are very steep that we need to get in and out of. Uh, another thing that we've done is we have, uh, we do a lot of rope rescue stuff, so we put uh, hitches in the back so we're able to uh, use those as mounting points uh, for our rope rescue equipment. Uh, and again, you can see right here how the ladder rack is lowered into the body. Uh, this is to help keep our height uh, down low, um, a lot of low trees, and again, our station is very low. Uh, we're able to carry a thousand feet of four inch hose, uh, 750 feet of uh, three inch, and then we have a two and a half inch free connect off of the back here. Uh, we also, because of the mountain roads, we did a direct tank fill into the back of the tank uh, so that when uh, we're on those narrow driveways, uh, we're not blocking it with hose coming up the side. Again, on this side, you can see that we have the ladder rack uh, recessed into the rig. Uh, we've also Tried to maximize our tool storage. Uh, right here in this compartment, we have uh, a tool board. So we're able to uh, maximize storage of the tools on both sides of the board and the back of the wall. Uh, and then uh, right here on both sides, we've used this for SCBA storage. Again, we go with the clean cab concept to keep everything out of the cab when we're uh, driving around. Uh, moving forward again, low cross lays. We wanted to make sure that our members don't have to uh, climb up and uh, worry about falling off the rig while they're pulling the cross lay and deploying it out to a fire. Uh, the front here, this is our uh, Stokes, basket, Stokes basket storage. So we'll be able to put a Stokes basket in here. We have a lot of uh, rope rescue equipment uh, that we have to utilize. So we tried to make it easy to get to, uh, trying to maximize the, the space on this rig. Again, for us, mountain community, small roads, need to make sure that we had uh, the ability to access those 162 and a half inch wheelbase is the biggest thing on this rig that uh, we're super proud of to be able to get it that short.
So again, for our rope rescue stuff in the front bumper, we put the two uh, hitch receivers to allow us to have our connection points on the tight mountain roads. Uh, and that way we're able to work off both the front and the back of the rig. Uh, for us with lighting, we no longer use with the advent of the LED technology. We don't have a generator on this rig anymore. Uh, so we're using the uh, 12 volt LED scene lighting. Uh, so we're able to light the scene up uh, quite well with two lights on each side and one in the front and then some lights facing the rear. Uh, the LED lighting is super bright and we're super happy with that technology as it's progressed over the years. Uh, thanks for watching and learning about our uh, new Type 1.